For smart meter vendors serving multiple countries and rollouts, a single connectivity solution that can be deployed on any cellular network anywhere in the world would greatly simplify smart meter design and deployment. Utilities investing in smart meter rollouts need cost-effective and highly reliable connectivity solutions, while having the technical and commercial flexibility needed across the long lifespan of 10 to 15 years typical of a smart meter. I'm Claire Falkbane, and today I'm talking with two experts in the field, Petri Onila, Director, IoT Devices Adon, and Francis D'Souza, VP Marketing and Strategy for Analytics and IoT Solutions, TALUS. Could you give us an overview of who Adon and TALUS are and the promise that you make to your customers? Petri, perhaps you could start. Thank you, Claire. Uh, Idon is, uh, we are a technology company operating in the Scandinavia uh, with the installer base more than 3 million uh, meters and uh, more than 100 uh, customers. Uh, we provide smart metering solutions uh, that make our uh, customers daily operations easy. And we, in that, we utilize the latest technology and actually we work with the multiple partners to create new innovations. Also operating in the Nordics is uh, in Aydon uh, means that our customers are keen adapting the new technologies and the innovations. And Francis, perhaps you could share a little bit about, about Talus. Talus's mission is to build a future that we can all trust. And part of that future is one in which climate change needs to be combated and the energy transition needs to be made, because of which utilities are planning and investing in smart grid and smart metering technologies. Thales helps utilities and smart meter makers in that journey by providing the latest in LP1, 4G and 5G connectivity modules, the SIMs and the eSIMs to connect all of these assets to the network, and very importantly, the cybersecurity that protects all of these meters, as well as the data generated and collected from them. What are the biggest connectivity challenges experienced with the rollout of smart meters? Uh, clearly, the biggest uh, issue is uh, the poor connectivity, especially what we have uh, in the Nordics, it is in the rural areas. And usual way or traditional way of solving those problems are to send uh, installers to physically visit the site and change, for example, the different teleoperators SIM cards in the device. Uh, the secondly, the, the, in our customers, when we have more than 100 customers, the customers might have the preferences on using uh, different teleoperators, which uh, on the other hand then makes uh, the, uh, for us, the smart meter vendors, uh, logistical channels to operate with uh, all customer needs. Francis, what would you say uh, with regards to that? So drawing on what Petri said, I would break down the problem uh, that uh, utilities face into two categories. The first is ensuring operational resilience. This means having the network at the place where the meter is fixed, and guaranteeing the availability of the network during the lifetime, you know, through network drops, et cetera, you need your meter to have connectivity. The second one would be commercial resilience. How do you adapt your operator in your meter based on technical evo uh, evolution, market evolution, commercial evolution? And how do you do that without having to do a truck roll to send someone to replace your SIM in the meet? Mm. Solving these challenges also increases the complexity for smart meter makers like IDON. It drives up their logistics costs, their SKU management, their variant management. A breakthrough on the IoT eSIM adapted to the smart metering use cases helps actually solve these problems on both the operational resilience level as well as the commercial resilience level while bringing down the TCO for everyone, the utilities as well as the smart meter makers. 
Can you talk a bit more about the concept of an embedded SIM? What does it mean and what are the benefits? An embedded SIM or an eSIM has two primary cases. The first is last stage personalization where the SIM is literally an empty shell and the operator subscription is injected at the very last stage in factory or at installation. The second one is in life change where the operator has changed over the air without having to make a trip down to the device. We have used these principles and adapted to the smart metering industry, creating the IoT eSIM, which actually drives four benefits. Drives, drives down logistics and SKU management, variant management cost. Drives down meter setup time ensures network availability at all times during the life of the meter and ensures commercial flexibility to the utility or managed service provider during the 10 to 15 years lifetime of the meter. All of this serves to drive down the total cost of ownership or TCO of adopting connectivity and cellular connectivity in smart meters. Petri, for you, I mean, what are the benefits of working with TELUS for cellular smart meters? Uh, we have worked with uh, TELUS since founding of IDON. And uh, what I think different is uh, TELUS uh, is uh, their uh, TELUS ability to seek end-to-end -end solutions. Uh, also, our uh, cultures in the company are, are uh, similar, so we are open-minded. And this allows us to bring the innovations quickly to the market together. Thank you to both Talus and IDON for sharing these amazing insights with us. As you've heard, a single connectivity solution that can be deployed on any cellular network anywhere in the world is already a reality. I know I'm going to look forward to following these developments more closely. <laughs>